I watched with interest a bit the Super Bowl. I didn't watch the end of it because uh, it was way too late for me because I had to be in here yesterday morning. But as you know, Brady and the Bucks won it. Who owns the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I'll tell you who, the Glazers. And Joe Glazer. Joe Glazer, the very same member of the Glazer family who owned Manchester United, stepped up, accepted the trophy after the Bucks uh, won the Super Bowl in their own stadium, it has to be said. And he told anyone that wanted to listen, we're just so happy, we're so proud of all these players, so proud of uh, Jason Licht, of uh, Bruce Arians, the entire team, and Tampa, we're coming home. Now, after he did that, there was a bit of a pylon in social media over here mostly United fans saying, hang on a second, maybe not in such uh, friendly terms, I have to say. This is the same Joel Glazer, who has never seen at a Manchester United uh, game since the Champions League quarterfinal first leg against Barcelona in April 2019, who never communicates with us, the fans. We never hear from him. He doesn't show up. And yet he's front and centre out there in the USA telling anyone that wants to listen, we're this, we're that, we're the Bucks. Have they got a point? Why is it the owners of Manchester United decide well, they'll communicate at first hand with their own fans, uh, the, the Bucks fans, but not, it seems, with the fans of Manchester United. Uh, well, I Are United fans quite right to think, hang on, well, they're, they're, we they're, never hear from this lot? It's their view, they're entitled to have it, but they're not interested in hearing from the Glazers. They don't want the Glazers there. They, 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 want, sure the, they, they want, want the they want to be free of the Glazers. They don't think the Glazers have brought anything to the club. They loathe the way that they financed the acquisition. They hate the interest. They hate the dividends. They don't want the Glazers there. What they want to do is have an opportunity, and that's their gift and their right, to criticise the Glazers for being involved in a club in America that doesn't give them the same sentiment as the club they own in the UK does. Yeah, but I'm they're, not saying it's right. They're absentee owners. I mean, I, well, I remember no, no, the Charlton no, 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 fans no, no, were, no, were up in arms no, because they'd never no, seen no, De Chatley. No, an absentee owner is someone that starves the club of finances and doesn't provide them with any support. They're Ellis Short. Well, the silent or, owners, or, or, if you like. Well, sure. And wasn't it, wasn't it so long ago that people said the best owners are the ones you never hear from? Make your mind up. Which ones you want? It's not the owner you want to hear from. It's the football manager you want to hear from. It's the pitch. You want to see your centre forward do your talking for your owner because he's scoring goals and the team are top of the league. The, it's just an opportunity to bash the Glazers. I'm not suggesting that the Man United fans are not right because they were perfectly entitled to have their view. But let's really break it down. They don't want to hear from the Glazers. They want the Glazers to sling their hooks. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what they want to do is say... We don't want to hear from you, but 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 we do want to criticise you because someone well, else wants to hear from you. No, but hang on a second, Simon. But, uh, let me put it another way. Why does Joe Glazer think it's appropriate to have a connection with the Tampa fans and yet not have a connection with the United fans? Well, I don't suspect he probably does. I suspect that he is a victim of the circumstances which surrounded his father's purchase of Manchester United, his father's ownership of Tampa Bay. He's got a different relationship with those fans. It's indigenous to the culture that he's been brought up in. It's something he probably has developed over a period of time. I'm not saying it's right, but we're, we're, we're trying to, to look at the idea, and Man United fans are saying, so we don't want to hear from you, we don't like you, we think you're a complete waste of time, we hate the fact you're in our football club, but we do want to hear from you because someone else has heard from you. What's our, what argument is that? It's no, a stupid I, argument.